welcome back uh, this is el nagarajan working as an assistant professor in the department of uh, electrical and electronics engineering in mim school of engineering trichy aggregated by nac approved by aict new delhi affiliated to anna university chennai okay. so today we are going to discuss about the cardiac output so what is mean cardiac okay if only if you know the meaning of the cardiac then only we can able to understand this topic so cardiac is the technical name of our heart so cardiac is the technical name of the heart heart is also called as cardiac okay. so in this uh, cardiac output we are going to measure the amount of blood delivered okay the amount of blood delivered by the heart to the aorta okay. by the heart to the aorta aorta is uh, the it is a type of uh, nose no tube where the all the oxygenated is fed to the remaining parts of our body so all the parts of our body okay so this is very important because it carries uh, oxygenated blood to all the parts of our body okay so uh, when the blood from the heart is unable to meet the demand okay meet the demand in the sense it, it could not deliver the proper the rated amount of blood then what are the problems it, we will uh, we will feel is low blood pressure okay And obviously the tissues will suffer from uh, oxygenation okay the tissues will suffer from oxygenation usually the blood pumps around the uh, Four to six liters for a minute okay. of blood. Okay. Now well, let us go to the what are the different techniques that are used to measure the cardiac output. So cardiac output is measured by using a direct method, then Fitz method. then indicated dilution method di dilution thermal dilution apart from that there are different methods that is impedance method ultrasound method uh, bio reactance method and carbon dioxide rebreathing method so again uh, but in, uh, we are going to discuss we are con- going to concentrate only these three that is uh, these above uh, five topics so all the above five topics were uh, direct method okay direct method in the sense we will be measuring directly the heart okay we will be measuring the output directly from the heart because no other way we are going to find out the heart performance and how it is possible to measure the heart performance from outside so all the methods in the cardiac output measurement are invasion method invasion method is the it requires operation okay it requires operation right 
now we are going to discuss about the direct method okay. so in this direct method the output is measured okay by using the electromagnetic uh, flow probe in the rotor and multiplying it with the heart rate this involves uh, surgery so usually it is not preferred it involves surgery usually it is not preferred you can raise a question sir in the previous slide you said that all the things were to be invasion method yes invasion method so invasion method in includes the needle preaching also okay in the flex method needle preaching is happened okay. the output is determined by analyzing the gas monitoring okay gas monitoring in the sense flow of oxygen in and out of the heart what is the amount of oxygen before entering the heart and what is the amount of oxygen after enter, after leaving the heart okay so uh, this is the flip method and uh, in this method there is an disadvantage is it is again complicated and difficult because it also involves the direct method okay let me see the diagram for the flip method okay here you can find the concentration of oxygen and the concentration of uh, uh, oxygen in arterials and the concentration of oxygen in the ventricles arterials is the outgoing blood and ventricles is the incoming blood so the difference in concentration gives the amount of blood through the heart okay this is the uh, measuring instrument okay this is the incoming to the heart and this is the leaving from the heart so at the incoming we are measuring the oxygen at uh, outcoming we are measuring the oxygen so this change in this difference in oxygen concentration leads to the measurement of um, cardiac output <coughs> okay so in the next class we will uh, look at the indicator methods okay mm. let me give a brief introduction about this indicator method okay uh, indicator method is the most popular method nowadays because it it, it can be uh, done by a preaching okay preaching in the sense adding indicator to the syringe okay so uh, this is also a continuous method we can utilize some continuous method okay and uh, in this there are uh, continuous infusion and uh, bolus injection these two methods we will see in detail in the upcoming classes thank you